forget this track who would forget this track i mean quite a star and entertainment personality nomasonto masangwanyi popularly known as mshoza has died tributes on social media have been pouring in since her passing was announced on thursday the 37 year old was known for her hit song gotes currently playing in the background and as we pay tribute to the star this morning we joined by friend and quite a star gosinati mzambia zwane mzambia very good morning to you thanks for joining us welcome to morning live Good morning Mrs. Pure. Thanks for having me this morning sir. It's an absolute pleasure man. Thank you so much for waking up and making time to chat to us and to just share uh, your recollection of what an amazing artist that Mshoza was. I mean we all knew Mshoza as the child star um, and uh, quite an artist but what kind of a person was she? Mshoza was a very loving person. A uh, person caring um very bubbly you know i've worked with him actually i've known him since 1998 you know not even once i've seen her grumpy you know and um yeah man i can safely say i'm sure i was a very loving person and um caring without a doubt yeah and apart from working with her on on cortes the song that that is uh, currently playing in the background what are some of the uh, or rather your fondest memories of of, of her and of you guys together yeah well you know i've spent half of my life with her you know um from the year 1998 when i discovered her gassy um i knew her from the days when we were both not even famous you know when we were going up and down trying to hustle the recording deals mm. you know and uh, to 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 the days when we had made it you know to the days when we were killing shows together you know like i've got a million fond memories with her actually you know so yeah. i can't really spot one and say this was the actual one because i've known her for a very long time sure was she perhaps aware of the kind of contribution she made in the music industry especially the genre of guaito Well, I'm sure that was a very modest person, but uh, she had so much love of, uh, for herself. Uh, so I think without a doubt she knew the the impact that she she had or that she had in the industry, you know. Um we 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 became popular just when um just when uh, the, the the South African yeah, we we became popular just when uh democracy was a few years old in South Africa you know so i can safely say that during that time obviously she brought so much hope to 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 girls her age you know and um to this day man the track that we did is still one of the greatest uh songs she she did and i'm um, sure there was an apologetic with uh, the way she 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 did her things you know also i believe that she knew that she's bringing so much confidence to to her peers and Yeah man we've lost someone very good man one of the best in South Africa and you say she's she was a very modest person i mean she never really spoke much about her two children how are they coping have you seen them have you perhaps spoken to them well um i spoke to her sister yesterday her younger sister sipati and uh, we've been talking about a few things obviously you know but i haven't really gone deep into the family to to speak to everyone that i know you know so it's not really a, 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 a easy times right now you know and i'm sure with now they're dealing with the loss in their own way you know yeah, so sure. it's, it's it's a very hectic, hectic season for us yeah and what made your relationship with her so so real and so genuine Yeah actually um let me take you back to to how we met in 1998 you know uh Ezol like Aslam we go nezadla where Abu Mandoza and Chiskop used to do their rehearsal you know so normally I would go there just to to watch Abu Mandoza doing their thing you know it motivated me as a kid so normally every after school I would go and watch what they were doing so one day um while I was there doing my rehearsals Mshoza went past you know and she came to me you know and said hey dude 
I like uh, what you're doing. So I would like Uti, you know, Sisi Kavane. Maybe we can learn a lot from each other. Then we exchanged our digits. She came to my house and we, we instantly became friends, you know. Um, yeah. and from there, we started going on my concerts. It was during the times of my concerts. And um, she's, she's, she's been a, f- a friend to me, you know. Uh, mm. she, there's, there's a lot that we went through together. I can't really point out one. I'm also very shattered in a way. You know? So, yeah. Yeah, so are we. So are we, man. And, you know, she she seemed like an outspoken person. She came out and spoke about her skin lightening. Uh, yeah, skin lightening. And, uh, well, she never backed down. What were some of her strengths? Okay, one thing I can tell you about her, I'm sure there was an apologetic. As much as she was a humble being, you know, I can I can safely say, you know, at home when you grow up, I'm a parent's work who instill some principles and values in you. But obviously, you know, when you start going out to the bigger world, you know, Gunama Prejudice, especially in the music industry, you know, uh, there's so much that's going on that maybe would change your personality a bit. But one thing that I know about Umshoza was that she was unapologetic about what she was doing and uh, she really loved herself. So I think her strength was, uh, especially the main one, was self-belief. You know, she believed in herself and she did what she wanted to do, which is one thing that people are lacking mostly, self-confidence, you know. So I think she had that. Okay. I know that we'll always remember her for belting out hit after hit, but how will you always remember her? Oh man, you know, um, every time we met, we cracked jokes, you know, we'd reminisce about uh, the times we've had together. Um, you know, there was a time, there was a guy that used to design clothes for us as kids okay. on stage. So she had that balloon um, sweater that she used to wear, so I used to make fun of it. So every time she sees me, she would remind me of that time and she would also make fun of me. And um, over and above everything, man, uh, we, we, we had great times and we always spoke about those times whenever we, we, we met. And uh, recently we celebrated 20 years in the music scene. And I did an interview with one radio station in KZN and little did I know that she was online. And um, she, she, she started speaking about a whole lot of things that we, we, we went through together. And uh, the plan was maybe this year, or sooner we're gonna try and, and do something together again but little mm. did i know that god would decide differently you know so yeah, yeah. i'll meet a lot of things with her i mean about her oh man great chatting to you thank you so much for sharing uh, your recollections with us uh, thank you so much we appreciate your time man